welcome back everyone to another video of our FE Civil Preparation course. In this video, we are going to learn about Mohr Circle. Mohr Circle is a graphical method to easily determine normal and shear stresses in different orientations without using the stress transformation equations. In the FE exam, he will not ask you to draw a Mohr Circle because it normally takes time and you don't have such time on FE exam. However, it is important to understand how you can draw it. So, let's start by having these two axes for sigma in horizontal axis, which is the normal stress, and tau in the vertical axis, which is the shear stress. Now, let's take this stress element and try to graph it on it. In more circle, we will consider the part below horizontal axis to be positive and the part above horizontal axis to be negative. So, we will start by adding a point representing the stress in the x phase with coordinates of sigma x and tau xy. And let's add a point representing the stress on the y face with coordinates of sigma y and minus tau xy. We have earlier agreed that for axial stresses, tensile force will be considered positive while compression force will be considered negative. And for shear stress, shear stresses creating a moment clockwise will be negative while shear forces creating a moment counterclockwise will be positive. That's why on x face, the shear force was creating a counterclockwise moment and we draw it on the positive side, while on the y face, the shear force was creating a clockwise moment, so we draw it on the negative side. The line between those two points defines the diameter of Mohr circle, which now we can draw it. Each point on this circle represents the normal and shear stress in the element at a specific orientation. We can calculate now the location of the center of this circle, which is based on this drawing will equal to sigma x plus sigma y over 2. And now we can see that the maximum shear stress in the element will equal to r, which is the radius of Mohr circle. We can easily calculate the value of r using Pythagoras equation, which will equal to the root of sigma x minus sigma y over 2 all squared plus tau xy squared. We can also see now that the principal stresses, which are maximum and minimum normal stresses, sigma a and sigma b occur at the zero shear stress and we can calculate now the principal stresses from the graph using the following equations sigma a equals c plus r while sigma b equals c minus r it is also worth mentioning that any angle inside more circle is double the real angle of the rotation of the stress element and we can notice that if we looked at the maximum and minimum normal stress we can find that they are separated by 180 degrees while we have earlier learned that they are both separated by 90 degrees in real. Hence, the angle of rotation, which is 2 theta, could be also calculated using the geometry of this shape. If we created this imaginary triangle, we will find that this angle equals 2 theta 2, and the tan of this angle will equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Hence, tan 2 theta will equal to 2 tau xy over sigma x minus sigma y. So now, let's have an example on this. So let's check this example. We have this element here, and we have the sigma x and the sigma y and tau xy in all direction, and we want to know the orientation of the stress plane relative to the x-axis. If we want the orientation, it means that we need to get theta. We know the equation is tan to theta equals 2 tau xy over sigma x minus sigma y so it will be 2 multiplied by 58 over sigma x sigma x we have it here compression so it is minus 75 minus sigma y y it is tension so it is minus 110 which means minus 0.6 3 this is uh, tan 2 theta so solving this we get that 2 theta equals minus 32 which means that theta equals minus 16 and of course the other angle is the angle that it uh, completes the, the minus 16 which is 74 degree so this is the answer and this is it for our video today thank you